Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. Well, we want you to meet this young lady, 28 years old. Wow, she's so young. Yeah, and look at her. She is an expat. She's from Canada. Yeah, and then she lives in Mexico, Querétaro. And she has started this business. And we've done an interview with her. We've got some ideas on some of the prices. We also asked her how was her social life being only 28 years old. Uh, was she able to meet uh, local people and have new friends and stuff? And so this little interview, we're going to just give you guys maybe some ideas if you would like to retire or in her particular case, start a, a business. It's a bakery that she runs and owns. And so, uh, let's go meet her. Let's go meet her. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Alex here. Okay. We have an expat here, a young, young, young expat from Canada. And uh, our listeners typically are retired people. And they always want to know how somebody your age is living their dream and they're not even living yet. And, and you're, you're living the dream. You're living in Mexico here. And how did you choose Mexico? I love it here. Do you speak Spanish then? Yes, fluently. Okay, so on. And that. Now, living in Mexico, you're very young. Do you mind if I ask you how old you are? I'm 28. 28 years old, okay. And uh, you're living the retirement dream, but you're not retired. No. 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 <laughs> what do you do here? I, I have a bakery um, in Guerrero, and uh, two small months old. And uh, I've been living in Canada for now it will be one year. One year. Next month, one year. Okay. Uh, all total of years, how long have you lived in Mexico? I don't know, about 17 years. 17 years, okay. So you're very comfortable with Mexico. Yes, I feel do you, like do you, home. Do you, okay, does it feel like, do you feel like a Mexican? Uh, I would, I know, I know what I say I am and everyone, uh, most people here are Mexicans say, like, you're more Mexican than I am, right? <laughs> spicier food, or I know more about the culture, the city, or people want to know where to go eat about San Coach here. Okay. And they're like, oh. And they'll ask me, I guess I love the culture as a country so much that I just want to know it more and more because it's just a treat for me so much. And the people here are so kind. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what about somebody that's your age, say, in their 20s or early 30s and stuff like that, and they would like to live the dream, like you're living down here. You live in Mexico, and you have a, your own business here, so you're making an income here. But what, what type of advice would you give somebody you know, younger uh, that needs to work and would like to live in another country? Find great jobs. See, it's easy to open a business here, but it, it is very tedious. It has, you have to be after everyone, but once you have it, it's great. Okay, so somebody coming in now, you have the advantage because you speak Spanish and you right. read Spanish and you write Spanish. We're talking about that comfortable living and stuff like that. What uh, what would you tell our audience here? What, on the average, what does it cost about a month to live here? I would say here in Querétaro, um, like fifteen thousand pesos a month. 15,000 yeah. pesos a month, okay. Now, would that include all your rent and everything? Yeah, I mean, like to rent a room here would start at like 2,000 pesos for a decent room and for a house. Here in Canada, though, I find it more very cheap. I moved here a year ago from Cancun. Cancun is great. And here you can find a house at, for seven, 9,000 pesos, two floors, you know. Like okay. So, so even renovated or rent. Seven to nine thousand pesos a yes, month. I mean, there are there are parts of Canada that you can find. Okay. Now, uh, so somebody coming in, let's say, like they want to be an entrepreneur, like right. you are, and they don't have that degree, and they want to start their business. Maybe they want to get into real estate, or they want to get into massage. Or something. I think it, it would be best to find someone that you can trust and that can help you. We, we had someone who helped us with the paperwork. Okay. So, you know, it, it definitely is a big help. And a, it might cost some money, but it, it'll definitely help the headaches. 
Right, okay, okay. Now, well, let's say like food and stuff like that. What would you say uh, on a monthly budget? Would you, would you have an idea what food would cost somebody? Oh, food, so it's not expensive at all. I mean, you could even have a meal with 30 pesos off the street. I mean, I don't know, you know, eating a little carts, uh -huh. so that's great. But if you, you can go to the market and get fresh produce, you can go to the grocery store, do Costco here. Okay. And so we have, you can get it there, we have everything. We have Sam's, Walmart, Costco. I mean, there's, I can't live in a city that doesn't have a Costco. Okay, so. okay. Yeah, so it's very convenient. Here. It is. Because it's a city, it's not a village. It's a, it's a metropolis. Metropolis, mm -hmm. okay. And how about co uh, uh, conveniences? You mentioned the, uh, that there's good restaurants, and you mentioned that uh, Walmart or Costco or those type mm -hmm. of things are here. Uh, Office Max, this type of right. stuff. Um, what about air, airplanes, airports? Is there? Yeah, there's an airport. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, again, focusing on your age and stuff like that. So, somebody wants to come down and want to live. Now, how do you find it in the sense of finding other people your age? Mm -hmm. You know, is that a hard thing to find here? Uh, do you have a pretty good social network? Uh, uh, yeah. I think that's the easiest part, actually. Really? Because the kids are so friendly. So friendly and open, and they're always, you know, welcoming you, and they'll treat you just like one of their own. And that's, I find that's the easiest part. My students are so nice when it comes to that. And, and also the other thing here that I found very important was it's very secure that you walk out a night in the center and you will not, you won't feel insecure or worried or, you know, it's very secure in that way. So that was nice. Okay, well that's, mm -hmm. so you find Mexico safe? Yeah, I, uh, I don't feel comfortable here at all. Okay, a single young lady, do you feel comfortable here? Expats here, get a little. There is? Uh -huh. There are a lot of expats here, and they don't have uh, meetups, they'll go to a pub or a picnic in the park, do okay. little activities like that. Yeah. So it's nice that they, they keep it together. Okay. So, okay, because I guess when somebody's moving in, they're excited, but also they want to meet other people. So there's right. there's Facebook meetup groups and meetup exactly. and different things like that. Okay, social media stuff like that. Alex, thank you very much. Thank you for uh, introducing yourselves and thank you for uh, sharing with our young people there and our older people that are you know very in the envious of you of living this life that you live here. Really appreciate everything. Thank you very much. Isn't she the greatest? And let me tell you something. We have another video where we're uh, featuring her bakery. So go on that. And I'm going to give you a link down below and uh, so you can find that. And uh, Come visit. Come visit. Come Ex to the bakery. Come visit the bakery. Excellent. Cook cookies. Cookies, cakes, <laughs> and uh, cupcakes. <laughs> and coffee. <laughs> Adios. Well, it's break time again, so we're having some great coffee. And I've got some, and Lori's got her tea. I got my pastry here. Now you may be wondering, how come I'm the only one that eats in here? You don't see Lori having a pastry like that, but the reason why she's allergic to butter, and so she can't have it. But I can, and so I like to come into these places and have it and uh, test it out. Great coffee and great uh, pastry. The other thing, this is like my happy hour because we don't drink alcohol and this is my little treat in the afternoon. This is my happy hour. It is right. <laughs> <laughs> over here is the United States. Here's California, Arizona, Texas over here. If we're from Texas, we come straight down into Laredo, like this. And this is the area that we're gonna be showing you in this video. Now, if you come across towards the Pacific Coast, you're gonna hit Guadalajara. Down here is Lake Chapala. And you keep coming over this way, and it's Puerto Vallarta. So it's sort of in the middle of the country here. New area, we're excited about it, and we're excited to show you.
Wow, Lori, how about that, you know? <laughs> Living in Mexico, 28 years old. Wow, well, how old did she come in? Well, she did come as a little girl uh -huh. and uh, lived with her parents here, and that's how she's able to speak Spanish. But even so, you know, she's Canadian. She, you know, lives in Mexico, seems to love it. And maybe there's a place here in Mexico that would fit your lifestyle and maybe you would like to try something like that so uh hey down below we posted information about her bakery and uh further information also we're gonna have an interview with her yeah in Querétaro. yeah and we're gonna we are gonna especially focus that interview on her bakery so you're gonna learn a little bit about working in mexico and what it takes to work in mexico so uh so exciting. Yeah, so thanks for viewing. And could you do us a favor? Would you be able to subscribe to our channel? Maybe you could do a share it with somebody that you think would get value from the video. Yes, thumb up and share and subscribe. And comment. Yay! <laughs>